Hey ICORs, what's up? It's me, Keith Paris, and I'm back at it again with a brand new video, and obviously you can tell by the title of the video, I'm doing my everyday makeup routine. This is the main question I get asked every day. I kind of film something similar to this, like my Instagram, my Instagram body routine. Like, that was kind of like my everyday makeup routine, but um, that was kind of like a long time ago, like, aka last year. I kind of wanted to update updated one. This one is really, like, so amazing for me. Um, I So much stuff has changed, literally, like, my contacts has changed. I have, like, hazel one now, so I can, I can look a little more, like, natural. Oh, like, my whole makeup style has changed, my whole swag chain. You can, obviously, you guys can tell, like, because, like, by what I post on Instagram. And mind you, if you don't follow me on Instagram, pause. What are you doing with your life? My Instagram handle will be floating right here and also be linked down below too. And yeah, I had so much fun filming this um, makeup look for you guys. This is my everyday makeup routine. So literally, just took, it took me a quick second to just sit down here and film for you guys. And I have so much other stuff to do. And um, yeah, and also I want to say thank you guys who showed up to BeautyCon New York. It was so amazing. I love meeting all my icy warriors out there. You guys was really a turn out. I think guys like literally made my day. I literally started crying like after the whole event and everything because like it just made me happy and proud of like what I do and I love doing this. I love sitting down on my floor. I love filming vi videos, making people day back and I'm just like, you know, posting and just being myself. So yeah, so I'm gonna shut up and let's get on with the video. <laughs> Bye guys. Okay guys, I'm back at it again with the voiceover. So first, I'm using the Kika Milano Skin Trainer Eye Cream. This has caffeine in it and it has like a metal like applicator to it. So it's really good for cooling down your under eyes. I literally love using this. This is my favorite part when I do my makeup. And obviously, as, as you can tell, I'm priming my lips. I'm just using like a lip oil from Kika Milano too. And also, I already did my brows off camera. I used the Anastasia um, Brow Diviner and the Lash Shade Granite. So yeah, that's like what I do for my brows. And now I'm using this a mattifying primer by Samarel. I can't pronounce the name, but I'll have all the, the um the all the stuff that I use um down below in the description. And it's always on my Instagram page. So I'm just I'm just putting that primer all over my face, and I'm getting really down to my neck. And now I'm just um orange correcting. I'm using the LA Girl orange corrector. This is literally what I use. I've been using this since like when I started doing my makeup. I got this. I learned this from Kia Dragon. She learned. She literally used um, this orange corrector, but now she has her own dragon beauty, but like the same dragon beauty. So now I'm just like applying this all over like my dark spots and my beard area, and I'm just dabbing it with my middle finger so I can take off some of that product and it can just blend easier with my skin because I don't want to be looking like an oompa loompa, like you know, I don't want that like fantasy. We're trying to give like. We're trying to give like King Tut fantasy for this like makeup look. So yeah, so obviously I'm just blending that. And now the really trick that I don't blend in with my foundation, I'm taking my Fenty powder in nutmeg and I'm just um pressing that powder where I orange crack so I can blend in with my foundation um normally so I won't so the orange corrector and the foundation won't mix and take up so I won't look orange. So yeah. So that's literally like a hack. And now I'm going in with my Fenty foundation in the shade, I think this is 440 or 445. I kind of forgot, but I'll leave it linked down below. So yeah, I'm, I like taking this on with a brush first, and then I like, um, I like applying, and then I like going in with my beauty blender and, um, and blending all that, um, in my skin. So, but I've been using this brush method, like, for a while now, and I kind of like it. I like how my skin look when I use a brush first, and then I go in with a beauty blender. I used to use, like, beauty blenders, like, first, but I kind of stopped because, because I love having, like, full coverage foundation and I hate seeing like like my dark spots like show so I was like I'm gonna switch with the brush and then I'm gonna go into beauty blender and then that would like change like my life I've been doing this since like again like when I was a sophomore I used to use like stipple brushes and like apply that with my foundation then go with my beauty blender but yeah so just so literally all you're just seeing me you're just like um blending out my foundation with a brush so literally this is the most exciting exciting thing ever in the whole entire damn world on youtube so yeah and we have to use the cake and every beauty yeah and now i'm gonna use my real technique beauty blender but first i'm gonna wet it you always wet your beauty blender and never use mine's damp so i'm just gonna take my damp beauty blender and i'm gonna um pounce that all over my skin so i can just get like a flawless finish so my skin can look like I really do have filler in it, but it doesn't have filler in it. That's like the key to this makeup look. Duh. So yeah. So like literally nothing exciting. Just me like blending my beauty blender. Blend not blend not blending my beauty blender. Blending my foundation with my beauty blender. Oh my guys. 
guys i can't talk today i don't know why it's like 10 in the morning like see please send help like literally <laughs> so literally nothing saying i'm so like blending out my foundation but like oh and guys can you talk about my eyes look they look so beautiful it's one of my favorite contacts in the whole entire world eyes so popping on instagram and this is in the shade hazel like guys you have to check them out they're really 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 dope i love them so much now I'm using my concealer. I use two concealers. So first I use the KKW Beauty Concealer in the shade 12. This one kind of looks, this one really looks like LA Girl Form, so that's why I love it. And then the second one, second um, concealer I'm using is the Derma Blend. What is the Derma Blend Foundation Drops, but I forgot the name of it. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know if it's by heart, but I will literally leave a link down below. And obviously, like I said, it will be on my Instagram page too when I post on the new selfie. Um, literally today too so yeah so like literally I'm just highlight I'm just like you know highlighting my face with concealer so here's the trick what I use I take the German Blend foundation drops and I put that like in the center where my where my concealer is and then I go back in with the um the one the one that I use from the KKW Beauty and I blend those two concealers and foundations together and literally guys this is what like i've been getting so much compliments of like on my under eye i've just been loving that brightening effect like from my under eye and just like my forehead my cupid's bow because i just i don't know why i just like having a bright under eye now bright under eyes are kind of in right now so i'm i'm living for it i'm living dying breathing and i and i'm black so like i love being black i love my melanin to pop i love looking i love having my yellow undertones like pop out too so like guys literally and this doesn't crease either like the um Derm when i went to german bed headquarters they said they made this foundation they made this foundation drops because they don't want it to crease you can like put this foundation over over like tattoos you have so, like if you have a very important job you can put this over tattoos you can like literally have a have an embarrassing scar or a pimple like literally I, I even know like if you even have like um vitiligo you can even use that drops if you want to like cover it or just like like even out your skin tone or anything too like this is like the coolest like invention ever like shout out to German Blind shout out to Tim love you guys so so much and now I'm just like blending out the um the concealers literally I love how like when I blend out my concealers so now I'm just taking my um Fenty powder again one more time in the shape nutmeg obviously I'm just like um setting where we put concealer so I'll literally put that everywhere so like literally and I've been loving this um powder this is literally Rihanna always does it good she always trusts me like she always does it greatness like literally I love the powder I love how it like melted my skin I used this powder literally on my birthday and I never tried it before so it was like first time for everything and I loved how it looked like it didn't give me flashback like obviously it's Rihanna but yeah, I love it. And now I'm taking like a wedge. I love doing this too. So now we're just gonna bake. I'm using that same powder nutmeg from Rihanna, Fancy Beauty. And we're just gonna leave that there to sit and just, you know, cook up my skin. And literally, I'm just like here on Snap and Instagram, like saying I'm like filming and taking some selfies or like the thumbnail, like literally, and checking my text messages from my management team. And now I'm just um putting some brow gel on my um eyebrows um this is from benefit it's the um the brow gel line they have and now i'm taking the contour palette from kkw pd shop to kim like i said if kim like email me girl my emails in my is in my bio girl literally i'm taking the um kkw beauty contour palette powder in the um kit deep i'm just contouring like normally and then i'm baking my contour just for my cheeks um I just leave, I just like to leave that like after what like when I'm done with like everything else. I don't like to bake like for too long. So I only like to bake like for one minute. Like literally honest to God, guys. And now I'm taking like the Huda Beauty powder brush and just like brushing off where we bake for like my under eyes and my and my um forehead too. And now I'm taking the NYX cosmetic no filter powder in the shade Deep Golden. Guys, this is literally my favorite face powder ever. This is like a brightening powder too, so I love this too, but it's like an all-over face powder and I love that. And I was too lazy to go into like my eyeshadow palette to get some eyeshadow. So I'm using like the Kick W Beauty um contour powder um without a contour i'm just using that for eyeshadow I'm just like doing like a simple brown just so basic basic as fuck so like literally that's what i'm doing i'm taking that on my eyes and then you know a little on the um the, um, the lash line too 
and now I'm brushing off where we bake for my contour. Literally, just I don't, I hate seeing that line, like that little line for the powder. So like, I'm just really carefully like brushing that off because I don't want to, I don't want that to show. Literally, and now I'm taking my Scandinavia Oil Control Setting Spray. This is literally my favorite for people who have like oily skin. I have oily skin. This literally takes off everything. And now I'm taking my favorite highlighter in the world. I've been getting so much questions. What is this that I use when I go to events and everything? This is the Morphe highlighter and the shade Mirage. Like literally, guys, this is so good. I don't have this skin code with them, so you can use James or like Nikki Dragon or Manny Noir, whatever. Like I don't give a I don't give a rat's ass. So like literally, use one of their codes. But if Morphe, if you're listening, hey, send me a code. Like, I'm obsessed with this. And I'm taking this, like, on my lip, my Cupid's bow, and I'm taking Fenty Hustler Baby on the nose. Literally, it's my, like, best invention ever. Like, literally. Can we look at my nose highlight? Like, literally. I'm now, I'm just taking the Morphe lip liner in the shade. I think this is um, shade Richie. And then I go in with the Fenty lip gloss, and then I go in with Morphe lip gloss and backstage. And then lastly, I like to go in with Marc Jacobs and I forgot what it's called. Oh, and work it. So like literally, guys. And now I like to go in with the KKW Beauty Brighting Powder. You guys did the last shade, number four. I know it looks orange, but guys, this is literally African American friendly, safe. Like literally. Anyone who's black, they can use this, like, literally, this really gives me, like, a good brightening effect, and it doesn't, like, flashback. Hey guys, I'm kind of done. I'm finished with my makeup. This is the final look. Um, I'm gonna change right now because, like, I kind of don't want to be in the witch anymore. I'm kind of, like, blending into the wall right here. So I'm kind of gonna, I'm gonna change right now, and I'm gonna, like, say goodbye, and I'll put on some, like, jewelry. So I'll be, like, extra, and then I'll be right back. <laughs> Okay guys, this is, this is the end of the video. I hope you guys like this final look. This is my everyday makeup routine. You guys know this is my always my go-to glam, but obviously a lot of things has changed. Some things I still do and some things I just change it to be a little more extra with it. So I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. I hope you guys watch to the end of the video because guys, look, I look like, I don't know, like I have filler in. I look more fake and plasticky which I love I just look more look more brightening I tried so much new things first of all the Kim Kardashian stuff is really really good and, and um actually really really amazing and um I'm not even saying that um it's not this video is not even sponsored by Kim but Kim if you see this hi my name is Keith Paris nice to meet you hit me up in that DM girl we love to do like like a video with you guys or anything but no the contour file is really good um the concealer is really good and i was so afraid of trying the brightening powder because it was so much like talk about it because it was so orange guys no flashback i will leave a photo of me like um wearing those with um with like the pattern with like the brightening powder like no flash i just made me look bright and just like more i don't know make my skin color like pop out like even more which you know i love like who doesn't want to who doesn't want the melanin to pop out more like I don't know, like, I don't know. Anyway, yeah, guys, I'm going to stop rambling. This is the end of the video. I hope you guys liked it. hope you guys um, leave a comment, you know, rate, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, and, yeah, I'm sorry I haven't made a video in so long. Thank you guys. Oh, and I really honestly want to say thank you guys so much from whoever came out to BeautyCon. I met so much of you guys. I'm going to leave a photo of everyone who I met here. Y'all really turned it out. I was so ner I was so excited. I love going to beauty con. Even New York. The New York one is more nostalgic for me because this was my first ever beauty event that I ever went to back when I was still in high school. When literally, um, I only had like my genuine friends. Two of my genuine friends by me like my whole senior year. I was going through like a lot of stuff like in high school. People still like criticize me of like. I do Instagram and the whole YouTube stuff, you know, I was getting to my body positivity stuff and, you know, and there was so much negativity towards it and the beauty gun was really, like, the first event. They say, like, hey, we want you to come and, you know, they gave me that platform, they gave me the opportunity and, like, look what happened. Like, I got, like, I met my manager on BeautyCon when I first met her and now I'm signed with the, I'm signed with her I'm signed with Rosé Management so I really want to give a huge shout out to Frida, Randy, the whole Rosé Management team, Jasmine, I love you guys so much. Thank you for like taking me in like we met like that first time at BeautyCon so yeah it was like literally amazing. So yeah I guys liked it. I hope you guys learned something new. Hope I made you happy and yeah I have so much video plans got plan guy. I know I keep saying that I've just been in a slump you know life and everything but yeah, I love you guys, and don't forget, stay strong. Bye, guys. <laughs>